Oh shit, man, you go back? Big Mac? I go back. Mac Thomas? Yeah. You know he out here now. Mm-hmm. We granny clips. I thought I don't come. No, they ain't gonna put that story. <laughs> All right. So that's how I found out about this. I was hot. Can't make video, video. You know, this is for sure. For sure. Can't make video, video. Open your soul. Represent your ghetto, baby. Say, every day with pop room season. I mean, we always get popped off. I said, damn, who the one that's you? The Grand Crips. And they were serious about it. And if you was about older than 25, you better not have been out on the streets of Compton. Yeah. In 71, 72? Yeah. Oh, you, ain't, you ain't got no business out here. And that was 1972? Yes, sir. Them boys was not no joke. You know what I mean? And, and like, we know we could whoop them. They were yelling at us. And he'd tell him, he'd tell him in a heartbeat, I send my baby crips after you. He ain't sending the, he ain't sending the crips, he's sending the baby crips. I don't know how he was mad. <laughs> the rest of them was younger. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but these, these kids were shooting the kids. They are trying to kill us, man. Arthur Day. Yeah, Arthur Day, he old enough. Yeah, huh, Joe? Oh, yeah, see, I mean, I was just like, uh, he was like a baby crib. Yeah, he might be younger than you. Yeah, baby, I was a baby crib. He was a young crib. Oh. I was a baby crib. Born in 1955, I think. No. Was Wayne? Yeah, he said he was a baby crib. Wayne was a baby crib. Wayne was a baby crib. No, Arthur said he was a baby crib in the interview. Yeah, okay, okay, that was Arthur then. Yeah, Arthur was born in 55. No, yeah, I, that's what I said. But I'm saying he was treated like a... A baby crib. I said Raymond called him the baby crib. Yeah. He probably, he probably had to leave them. But I'm just, I'll am tell you, man. The cats, when we look at them, and it's how they crib, like little Bobby. Oh, man, they ain't big dude. I mean, I think the big one, they had one named Joe, but he was big old tall, six foot nine, dude. But that's the only, that's the only tall dude I see. Dollar Bill had the height on him. But everybody, aunt, all them was little. So I see any many kids. You know what I'm saying? But you couldn't catch them. Hmm. It was like they wouldn't go away. It was, it was, it was, frosty, mean, they would not go away. And Catnip, another cat. So I met him earlier. You read the book, my book. Well, yeah, I seen him earlier. And he ended up being from Carl Park <laughs> and worked his way down to Grandys. You know what I'm saying? Because he was south side after that. Side to come to the park. But, 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 uh, uh, what's boy named Top Side Park? Uh, uh, Knuckles. Knuckles came up to Knuckles. We ran Knuckles up with that beautiful uh, loose park. They started their own shit, South Side. At South Park Conference. It's a park called South Park Conference. He's just, they started South Side. With them grannies, man. I'm saying, they earned their name. All right, one more time. Was Kelly Park, <laughs> what was they? Kelly Park Park was it? Kelly Park Power Room, Turtle was one of the leaders. The tur- Turtle still is, Turtle still is a, a Kelly Park Power Room. He was with Snoop Dogg. He had to be with Snoop Dogg, mama. You know what I'm saying? Snoop Dogg didn't like him because she she wouldn't cut uh, 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 Turtle loose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're going to take this table in. in, in well, see, I, when I went to YA and got out, that shit changed, man. It's really changed. All that shit that we say have Pablo turned uh some kind of crib. Oak Park Crip. Uh Yo, man. Street right here. turn the crib. My boy Pay Pay, man. What's happening, man? We're chilling. You know, Kel Mac. Up, What's up, man? All right. It's AC. What's up, man? Brother, yeah. All right. Bradford mm-hmm. Pook over here. Yeah, Jimmy Lavender right here, man. How you doing, OG? Yeah, sir. So you gonna go bowling nope. and shit, man? Yeah, man. You gonna stop that? It was, it was, it was a real adjustment yeah. I had to get used to it quick. Uh, did y'all hang in Kelly Park? Yeah. Uh, some greens, no, no, that was that was All that area. I, I think you mentioned something about Black Magic. You right now. Did you tell me about Black Magic, Jimmy? You see, all them was all about Kelly Park. <laughs> yeah. And see, he had something Tanya. We saw him at the house. You see? And we could add my home country, Andrew Bender, and Harry Bender. Oh, let's see the Kelly Park. But shit, some kind of way, man, uh, they, they got fleshed out. 
I mean, they they hurry up and crypto hurry up soaps are soaking up a lot of areas. Sound of Empire? Ribs. Ribs. Oh, that was a good time. They yeah. probably wouldn't move them houses in there, man. That was a wrap, man. When did the Atlanta Drive come into play? That's, that's, that's what turned the kids' park out. Atlanta Drive. Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was turned the kids' park out. They wasn't playing. And he said, miss somebody. Your bishops? On line with? Mm -hmm. I knew, because I missed the squad. All right, Joe. Like this one. Boy, pretty boy. Yeah, that's my boy. See, see, this is next one. Bishop. Okay. He's a bishop. That's what's going on there. Yeah. Blue boy. I know. I was telling you, I was telling you. Oh, you know, I was telling you. 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 I you said you had it, and when I came, you better come get the sermon. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. I was the preacher, man. One time, one time. And my love was no fake love. I'm telling you, it wasn't no fake love, man. If you left something happened to you, I would genuinely give my real tears from my heart, man. You and I would vow, I vow, man, to make sure your name don't go down just like that. You said that, that's my heart, man. You can't, you can't do that because when you interview, you, you enter me. If I am not gonna help you with it, I'll save somebody who wanna hear it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Cause you ain't gotta buy it. He might not be your messenger. You, you might like that stuff to get the stuff in that's gonna take you out. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I am trying to keep you here. Where you make where you, where you make a, le a better life, because man. When I say I inspired you, I know I inspired myself. But you, you live in proof that through my testimony and my words, man, that change can be better. You fly yourself to do better. So, and I know you got heart because you didn't put your life on line for me already. That's a book well. Imagine what you'd do if, you put, if, if I had something better off of you. And you put your life on line for that. Who played dominoes? Anybody? Hey, I'm, I'm with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 drove. How many miles? Four, four, four hundred some miles. Yeah. So they want to give a message. All y'all over sixty, okay. real quick. Yes, and by example, we should let people know how serious we is about this. Man, it's not just not easy, man. For us to get started on this on this no. mission. You know what I'm saying? It only take two steps. Right. At a time. If we're on a mission, man. And you say we're on a mission. Man, let's put our strength together, man, our energy together, and try to get you know, accomplish a nice chunk of this mission up. Let's do it. A chunk at a time, because, man, there are those out there, man, that, that their heart's still good, that their heart's still strong. And we, 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 got, we, we direct ours as examples. But I'm certain that the cause them also redirect theirs, because they know. They know we should see as people. The things we did. The chance we took, you know what I'm saying? The life we lived, that's some serious shit. Some of us are very lucky, blessed to still be here to talk about it. Because, uh, man, we done been some I know, me, I got some bullet holes in me. I'm scared to drink too much water. Hold on, hold on. When it comes down, you know, just giving back to you. What we done went through, uh, like I was saying earlier, we get come out of the civil rights movement, we come out of the civil rights era, and uh, before then, before they start killing all our leaders, and uh, you know, we had unity. I mean, we could say blood, young blood, cuz, brother, whatever, you know. And then, uh, once you know, the, the uh, community was put together and, and came together as one. And they started killing all our leaders. We started dividing. Uh, Satan, he come to kill, steal, deceive, separate, divide, and conquer. And that all that came from the conspiracy of genocide. So when I get with my brothers, whether it be bloods, crips, enemies, or whatever, when we come together for one purpose, you know, to send a message to our youth, to tell them they ain't got to do it like that, because all of us didn't make it. You know, so all of us is here now, you know, there's ex uh, gang bangers, what you want to call it. We wouldn't gang bangers, we were representing our neighborhoods. You know, but now, like Martin Luther King said, pride is okay, but self-pride, we're going to get to the promised land. But when we start having self-pride, 
that's going to separate and divide us. And that's what's going to happen now. Through the gangs, through the drugs, through the guns, and all the conspiracies that they brought in behind the, uh, the Willie Lynch story would turn us against one another. It's going to happen. So now we come together with over 300 years amongst us, amongst just four of us right now, you know, of experience of life, how to guide our youth, our descendants. And that's what we come to do, come to show that we still have black love for one another, whether it be brown, black, or poor, white, or whatever, any of our press. And we're ready to come up, ready to come up out of this here. And we want you youngsters to understand that it ain't all about you, it's all about us. We all been oppressed together. So it's all about us coming together with unity, you know, and we are making an example of that, to showing you that we can love one another and we all can love one another. Jack Lamar. Yes, sir. I agree with you 100 on that, man. Both of y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's really a beautiful thing to sit down here right now with you guys and uh, share these thoughts, man, and hopefully, you know, wake up somebody, man, deliver a message to the youngsters, man. Like, you know, like, you know, we survived, you know what I'm saying? It's like we can't count the ones that didn't, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we're tired of looking at us, our looking at us lose our own people, you know what I mean? It's uh, mothers ain't supposed to bury their children, you know what I mean? And that's all what's been popping off for the last 30, 40 years, like nonstop, you know what I'm saying? And that ain't the way the cycle supposed to go, man. So we try to break that cycle, man, you feel me? By, you know, getting together, sending a positive message. It's time to, to wake up, you know? Wake up, man, you feel me? It's more to life, you know, than, uh, you know, that shit is not really being tough. But being tough is, is staying free, you know what I mean? You got to do some shit. You say you hard, but your ass is locked up. You lost your freedom, you know what I mean? You ain't, you ain't got no woman because you're behind bars, you know what I'm saying? So you want to be hard, be gangster, be free, you know? Don't let them catch you in the traps, man, that we fell in, you know what I mean? Yeah, we've been in the traps, in the trenches, you know, all that, man, so, you know, it's time to come up, man, all of us as a people, we need to get back together, like they're the conquered and divided, we're going to put back together again, we're going to put the pieces back, you know what I mean, so we can be who we were meant to be, you know, a proud, black, strong people, man, all of us, you know, banging niggas out, we, we warriors by nature, you know what I mean? We all warriors from every side, man. We warriors, nigga. You know, Zulu tribe, Shabazz, you feel me? That shit is in our bloodline. You know, so we did it, we did it, you know, like we like it's supposed to be done, but uh it's all the wrong reasons, you feel me? Jimmy. I say what a pleasure. What a pleasure to to ride down here with you, Cal, with Barefoot and Pookie and AC Baba Louie for us to come down here to celebrate Giacomo's birthday. I mean to me, it's a historical moment. This is a, a time that none of us here would ever forget. I appreciate your invitation here, bro. I appreciate y'all coming, man. Y'all already touched my heart with this one, you know? Yeah, and, and mine um, too, to be, to be with you guys. Um, you know, um, I, 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 I wish people would look at what we're doing today and, and let us set an example of what the double OGs and the YGs and the OGs need to do come together as we did uh, today. Uh, whoever would have thought that all of us would have got together today. Hmm. And, uh, hmm. But we're here and we're trying to push something and send a message. And I hope you all get the message. Uh, it's not about the, the, the killing, the hurt, um, the, the destroying of uh, families and lives. And, uh, and we're here just to, to push that. And I hope more triple OGs and double OGs uh, come out and uh, help us repair what you, me, and all of us have destroyed. All right. Thanks, man. That's fine.